Lockdown has led to a surge in drink-related problems with alcohol sales soaring and doctors saying they expect a spike in alcohol-related ill health. That's according to a poll commissioned by the Addiction Helpline Help for Addiction, which suggests four in ten households are drinking more than before. Let's speak to Nick Conn. He is the Chief Executive of Help for Addiction. Hello to you. Thanks for joining us on the programme this morning. What is the extent of the increase during lockdown? Just how bad was it? So, I mean, we we conducted this survey on the you know on the back of a, a huge increase of inquiries and phone calls coming through to us, and um, you know it, it it looks like a sixty percent or fifty nine percent of people are increased you know increased their drinking, and it's becoming quite concerning. Who is it impacting? It's actually it, the the figures state that. That uh, females were were showing quite quite a huge increase, but on top of that, sixty percent of the figures were were parents. So we're we're seeing a big big increase in parents, which obviously can potentially have a safeguarding issue, you know, safeguarding risks as well. Um, so I'm guessing the main reasons, then, uh, given extrapolating from what what you're saying, there is that people are sort of um, using alcohol to relax at the end of a busy day with the kids at home? I think with um, homeschooling, with the additional mess, I know my wife was looking forward to me going back to work, ah. um, but with ev- everything going on, the, the stress, you know, the thing is the drink is is not somebody's problem. The drink is somebody's solution. Now, whether they use that to relax at the end of a hard day or whether they're using that to escape from something more, um, you know, there's there's so many different driving factors to this. Yeah, people used alcohol to self-medicate, don't they? But I wonder if they're yeah. aware of the physical and mental damage that it's doing to them. I think with boredom as well, for some people, you know, lives are busy. People have busy, busy lives and, and just this all of, all of a sudden shut down, stop. Um, it has a big impact on people. How do you stop? How do you start to stop, if you will? So I think in terms of trying to, well, in terms of trying to get help with your drinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or even if you're trying to do it on your own. So I think depending on obviously the level of their drinking, because if they're in, if they're physically dependent on alcohol, where their body may sort of get any shakes or sweats, um, they need to reduce properly as advised by a medical professional or get a medical detox because there is a risk of a seizure. Um, but ultimately, people that are looking just generally for help to try and reduce or stop, I would say there are some great fellowships like Alcoholics Anonymous out there. There's great services like We Are In Therapy.com that can offer some therapy. We've got loads of tools um, on the website, which is www.helpforaddiction.co.uk. Um, so I think, and then obviously some may look for a residential rehab, and there's a couple of ways that you can go around that. That may be your community drug and alcohol team who can apply for funding for you, um, or there are private residential rehabs. Okay, um, just a final thought before we let you go, Nick. I know that South Africa actually banned alcohol consumption during lockdown. Um, do you think that was a good idea? I, I don't. I think anything is okay in proportion. I think, you know, there's no problem if there's no problem. And I think it's just being mindful and, and, um, and being sensible, you know. But I think it's the ones that, the calls that come through to us are the ones that have a drink and they find it hard to stop. Or you know, or they've they're they're increasing and then incre- increasing, increasing. So I think it's just being mindful and sensible with the with the amount that you're drinking going by the guidelines. Okay, Nick, it's good to talk to you. Thanks for taking the time. Appreciate it. Thanks, Kay. Thank you. Uh,